Roger William Corman was born in Detroit, Michigan in 1926, but by high school he was already in Beverly Hills, then off to Stanford University to become an engineer like his father. He took a two-year hiatus to serve in the U.S. Navy, but by 1946 he returned to Stanford to finish his degree. He worked for a whole four days at U.S. Electrical Motors in L.A. before he declared, I've made a terrible mistake, and then he quit. His younger brother Gene had already been working in the film industry as an agent by then, so Roger decided that that's where he would try his luck as well. He started in the mailroom at 20th Century Fox, got promoted to story reader, and provided ideas for the 1950 film The Gunfighter. But he wasn't credited, so he quit and decided to study at Oxford. He even lived in Paris for a little while. When he returned to LA, he worked as a stagehand, a messenger, and was the assistant to literary agent Dick Highland. While doing this, Corman managed to write a script called The House in the Sea. He sold it to the Allied artists for $2,000. It was retitled High Highway Dragnet. He also worked on it as an associate producer, but was only paid in experience. But soon he was able to raise $12,000, and with all of his new contacts in Hollywood, he was able to produce his first ever feature, the 1954 Monster from the Ocean Floor. Then in 1955, he produced The Fast and the Furious. Yes, that's right. Vin Diesel has been driving in an endless loop, making bank every time he passes go, largely thanks to Roger Corman. Also in 1955, Roger directed his first four films. Five Guns West, The Beast with a Million Eyes, Apache Woman, and Day the World Ended. Not only did he direct four right out of the gate, but that was his average per year. His directing slowed down, however, in 1970 when he married his wife, Julie. His movies weren't just simply quantity. There was plenty of quality as well. Little Shop of Horrors, the Pit and the Pendulum, The Raven, The Terror, Masquerade of the Red Death. These are all very important beloved horror classics. And even though he gave up directing, his producing never slowed down. He has 492 credits, soon to be 493. He's also acted in several great films. And as an author, he wrote, How I Made a Hundred Movies in Hollywood and Never Lost a Dime. There was even Roger Corman Cosmic Comics. This is only a tip of the iceberg that is this man's career. He's 97 years old, and I can tell you he didn't waste a single one of them. He's had four children and is still happily married. So many Many people in the filmmaking industry proudly admit that they have been inspired by this man. Most of them even got their first breaks working on one of his many projects. Roger Corman earned everything he got from Hollywood, but more importantly, he gave back so much more. That's why here at The Horror Addicts, we thank him and honor him with the Lifetime Achievement and Horror Award. Not for second place.